I've already implemented some things to avoid this lesson being too long by repeating something that you've already done. So what I've done is that first I have this, I've created this categories folder inside pages. Then inside it, I have this create categories component. And here we have just the HTML and the CSS. And uh, in my routes, I've imported it here, then registered it here. So when you go to slash categories create, then create categories is the name of the route. Then the component is create categories and it requires you to be authenticated to see it. Then I went to the dashboard and here where we have create categories, now I'm using router link and it's going to the category to the route with the name create categories. Now if I go to the browser and click create categories, this is what we have. Now we need to post the, the category provided by a user from this component to the server. And to do that, I'm not going to repeat all that from scratch. We've already done that in lesson seven where we covered registration. It is the same thing. The only difference is that in registration, we had the controller, the model, and the migration created for us by default. But in this case, we have to create all that from scratch. So for grabbing the data, I'm not going to go in depth about that. So if whatever I'm going to do, it's not going to be, you're not going to understand it. It's not going to be that clear. Please revisit that lesson and everything will be clear. So here, this is what we have. Uh, ignore the code that is commented out. So we have a form and then we want to grab a name. And then when you submit it, we have this field date, de, field uh, property, then we'll get the name and then we will post it to this API slash API categories create, which is not yet created. We are going to create it. And then if it is successful, we reset the input to empty, the errors to empty as well. And uh, if there is an error, we catch the error and we populate it inside this object and then we can be able to output it here. All that, please, if it's not clear, please revisit that lesson. Lesson seven, that is, where we talked about registration and validation in depth. With that said, now for us to post our data to the server, we will need a migration, we will need a controller, and we will need a model. Let's go ahead and create all that. So PHP, that's on make model let's call it category and also let's make a migration under controller and that will create for us the three yeah that is model migration and controller let's go ahead and define how we want our migration to look like so it's here and it's uh we, only we are only interested in the name of the category. So we'll have it as string, then name. That's it, run migration. And now if you check your GUI, we should be able to have that. So I'll refresh this. And yes, we have categories and it's empty as of now. Next thing, let's go and create the API. We don't need this. We don't need this as well. So let's go ahead and create this API. I'll go to our APIs. And then that should be a private route since you have to be authenticated to post it. So we will come here where we have categories. I see I had already created it. So it is categories, create, then category controller which you've already created and the method is store let's see if it's uh yeah it's imported at the top so let's go to that controller so i'll grab the logic and then i'll walk you through First, let's import categories since you need to use that model. So here we are 
validating the name that we are requesting. We are ensuring that it's required. The user doesn't send an empty field. And we're also ensuring that it's unique to the categories table. After that, if that passes, then we are going to request the name here. Then we are going to create a new instance of the category. So it will be empty. After that, we are going to set the property name inside that empty object to be equal to the name that you are grabbing. So now we will have a category and it will have a name property and a value. Then we are returning after saving the category in the database. Let's save that. Let's see if that's working. I try to submit. Yes, it does. Let's try something. Spot. You see the validation is working. Field, name field is required. So submit. Let's confirm in our GUI if that is received. Yes, it's received. Let's try to see if the unique validation is working. So I'll come here and try the same thing, spot. And we are told the name has already been taken. This is great, it's working. But I think it's, uh, it's good to give the user feedback that the message has been posted successfully. And this, I think, is a good point to introduce flash messages. So let's go ahead and implement that. So we'll go here and I have the HTML, how it's supposed to look like. So we have this, let's remove this for now. We have this div with a class of success message and uh, the text is category created successfully. Then we have some styles for it. So let's go to app.css. Okay, app dot css there we go so here are the styles you can grab it and grab them in the source code so we have some padding some border radius the color of the text the background color then position is fixed then top 30 pixels and red 30 pixels so that it appears at the top right side of the window okay i'll save this then come back here so we only want to show this if success is true. So we're going to create a data property here. Success. And set it to false by default. And up here, let's show this message if success is true. Then we'll come to our post, post, post method. And then in here, if it is successful, Let's change the success to true so that we can be able to see the success message. So this dot success equal to true. Then after that, I'd like to, this is optional. You don't have to do this. I'd like to hide the success message after two and a half seconds. So we can use the set time interval function. So here it takes a function as the first argument. Then we can say what we want to happen. So we want to take this dot success and change it to false so that we hide the message. Then as the second argument, you can pass the amount of time you want that to take. Let's go to with let's go with two and a half seconds. So let's see if that's working. Go back, try something. Submit. Category created successfully then it disappears. That works perfectly. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, let's see how to, to display the list of the categories that we've created. Cheers.